Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. We're continuing here in the Pelayoyets in Avas Bonim Rabbanes, loving one's children. And we left off speaking about the idea of setting up the healthy boundaries for a child. On one hand, they have to be feeling the overwhelming love from their parents. On the other hand, they have to know that there is a discipline, there are boundaries, there is so far that they can take the inappropriate or misbehavior, and it has to be balanced out in a way that's not going to threaten the child, not going to be overbearing on the child, but rather they're also going to recognize that the discipline or the criticism or the rebuke, or even sometimes the consequences and the punishments that a parent is going to have to give to the child, even that is coming from a source of ahava, of the love that the parent has for the children because they want that their child will go in the best possible path in this world. So he writes today the following, The main love that a parent must show for their children is avas ha-nefesh, is the love that you have for their nefesh, for their soul, for the essence of who they are. A child has to feel from their parents that my father and my mother, they love me for my nefesh, for my soul, for who I am. And that everything that a parent is doing to try to be mechanich, to train and educate their child, is all for the benefit of their nefesh, of helping this child actualize that potential that is there inside of them. Included in this, is the love that a parent has for themselves. Why? Because as our sages teach us, the son, the child, brings merit to his father, to his parents. The children are who we leave over in this world. They are the ones that are going to say after 120 years, the Kaddish, they are the ones that are going to live on our legacy. They are the ones that are going to keep the message and the meaning of our lives alive. Which means that through our children, we are going to be living vicariously. Even here in this world, when a parent looks and sees their child acting in a way that is commensurate with the way in which we raise them, we see them display beauty in midas, we see them in their chesed, we see them how they face challenges of life, we see them how they deal with different people in different situations, and it gives us a satisfaction, it gives us a nachas, a pleasure to see them following in the footsteps that we help to guide them in. So therefore the child is mezaka, the abba, the child brings merits to the father in this world and the world to come, and therefore... The reason that I'm looking over the nefesh, the soul of that child, <clears throat> that I want this child to be able to become the best that they could be, is a little bit selfishly for my own benefit as well. Because if my child is living an exemplary life, so then it's a hemshech, it's a continuation of the exemplary life that I hope, be'ezus Hashem, that I am trying to lead as well. Uksiv, and it says further, in Mishli, in the words of Shlomo Melech, Yaser bin Chavyanichecha, if you will, Yaser, you will discipline or even afflict your child and you will leave him, which means that you will put him in his place. Then that child will give Madonim, he will give pleasures and delights to your soul, which means that if I train my child, if I educate him in the right way, if I find that healthy balance between the, the love and the discipline, the boundaries that are necessary in the life of every child and of course in the life of every adult as well. So then what will I be left with? I will have helped to guide a, a child, a son or a daughter in such a beautiful path that they will be ma'adonim l'nafshecha, they will bring delights and treats to my own nefesh, I will be the beneficiary. L'chein therefore yizahir adam, a person should be careful, lihis anig imbana b'teichachas megula, he should be misanik, he should even, so to speak, enjoy with his children, 
Teichacha rebuke, which is which is revealed, me'avas musteres mesuteres, even more so than love that is hidden, which means the love that a parent gives to their child. It's something that you have to give over, and it's got to be find the ways to to give it over in the right way. However, teichacha, the rebuke that you're going to give to your child, the criticism that is necessary to help them recognize when they made faults, that is something that they have to be aware of, they have to understand that you are giving to them. Ha ben, everything according to the age and the, I guess we'll call it the mental capacity and understanding the maturity of that child. Bikat nusai, when they are children, iveles kishur belev na'ar. You should know that the foolishness is enraptured and tied up inside of their hearts. Shevet musa yachi kenamimena, don't be harsh with them. Don't take the shevet of musa, don't take the staff of rebuke because they will not be able to handle it at such a young age. I think we'll end over here today just because we have so much more that we have to discuss and I don't want to say anything quickly because every point over here is very important that we should understand. But the bottom line is, is that once again, a child needs to live a healthy, spiritual, emotional life. And the way that he's going to do that is if the parent understands the balance between love and yet at the same time also disciplining and making the boundaries for the child as they need. And the reason that we're doing it is for the benefit of the child, there's also a benefit that the parent has. And that is when we see a, what our sons or our daughters following in the footsteps that we try to raise them in, again, we're assuming that your footsteps are good footsteps. And if you're, having, if you're shaky in your own path that you have in life, if you are a person who can fly off the handle in one minute and be loving to somebody else in the next minute, if you're struggling with your own midas, your own character traits, have a lot of faults and deficiencies, if your own avodas Hashem is is spotty, you're not so good in your in your mitzvahs and your and your immersion in our Kodesh Baruch Hu's service, and you're struggling yourself, you gotta have a lot of rachmanis on your children because you're being way too harsh on them. We first have to raise ourselves, and then we can raise our children. But suffice to say, we still have an obligation to raise our children in the right way. We'll try to use the words over here, the Pele Yoyets, to be able to give us some insight into our lives and the raising of children in our generation. Be'ezras Hashem. Have a wonderful day.